Is quicksand deadly? Have you ever wondered what it feels like to sink into the quicksand? You must be thinking that it's a unique sensation. Well, there is sliminess, pressure, and also a profound sensation of being stuck and gripped, especially when you try your level best to pull yourself away from it. You need to know that death by quicksand does not occur often and is comparatively rare, so this probably does not happen the way you are imagining it to occur. Death by Quicksand is a favorite topic of silver screen movies. In movies, series, and different kinds of shows, you might see someone sinking and dying in the quicksand, which is also depicting the struggle and a fight that a person has to do to save himself, but then he ultimately gets stuck under it. Do you want to know more about death related to quicksand? If the answer is yes, then this video is for you because in today's video, we will be telling you all the amazing facts about quicksand and you will get to know whether quicksand is deadly or not. Before getting started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give the video thumbs up. Let's get on. Quicksand actually happens to occur in nature and it can be found most commonly in river deltas, marshes, and along beaches. It occurs most commonly in places where water cannot escape from the ground. So as a result, it causes the dirt or sand in that specific area to become liquefied, which is not able to support any kind of weight. This can kill you, and this also won't be a speedy and painless process. But you need to know how people exactly get stuck inside the quicksand. The thing that makes the quicksand so deceptive is the fact that it normally appears like a solid surface that is not soft at all in appearance and it behaves like a liquid whenever given the right conditions. So you are not able to see the quicksand until and unless you step in it. At that time, you would probably know that some parts look muddy or that the ground appears shiny with some areas having standing water. After you step on it, the water and sand will get separated from each other, and as a result, that will create a wet sand slurry. When this happens, the friction that is present between the sand and particles becomes so reduced that the particles are not able to support your weight as the solid ground can. When this occurs, you can sink up to your ankles or even up to your knees and waist. And after this, you will see that things are going to get somewhat uncomfortable for you. In movies, you will commonly see that quicksand is present along a forest path or in the jungle, and as a result, the person who steps on it falls in it or gets stuck in it. After this, you will see that they struggle a lot until they sink under it and suffocate. But you need to know that the scientists at the University of Amsterdam have done their research about this quicksand and its properties to observe that if people get dragged under this or not. And as a result, they found that we don't sink. We get trapped. And then we struggle a lot, which makes us get dragged more deeply in the sand. And this is the reason that if our face gets covered, then due to suffocation, death occurs sometimes. As we know that quicksand just behaves like water, and human beings are full of air, so we can float on it at least to some extent until and unless you purposefully duck your head, you are not going down in the pool of quicksand. When human beings fall into quicksand, this can be a pretty surprising thing, and your initial reaction is to pull yourself away from that. But as you start pulling, then the area around your limbs and body gets firm up in response to the struggle that you are doing at that time. And as a result, it holds you more. This thing happens because as you struggle, the liquefied sand has less amount of pressure on it 
So you need to know that the pressure of your body is the reason that it liquefies. So at the moment the pressure is not there, the sand starts to get hard again. This thing is specifically not favorable if there is a mixture of clay and sand because that would act like glue. Another important thing that you need to know is that if you try to pull yourself free from the quicksand, then it will just solidify around you. In particular, the reason that causes a greater problem is shoes. Also because shoes that have a flat and flexible sole can act as suction cups, which creates a suction effect, and as a result of this making yourself free incredibly difficult for you. If you are somehow able to take off your shoes and keep your body weight spread out evenly, then you will have a much better chance to escape the sand. If you get stuck in the pool of quicksand up to the stomach or chest, then it is very obvious that your lungs are surrounded by liquefied sand. In this case, you need to know that it is really hard to get your legs to move around when they are stuck in quicksand. This thing will make you feel more stuck, and it also feels as if you are being crushed. If the quicksand is loose, then you might not feel this at all. But if this happens, then you will feel like you have never faced a worse situation than this. So the only thing that you can do in this case simply lies back and float. The reason behind this is we are less dense than the quicksand and we can float on its surface and move through it as long as we keep our movement slow. So this means that you can slowly wiggle your legs and try to create space for water to flow down around it. If you have your friends around you, then they can throw a rope and drag you safely aside. But if you are alone, then floating cannot be easy for you. That was all for today's video. I hope you liked it. Do you know any other facts about quicksand? Mention it in the comments section. Don't forget to ring the notification bell for more updates. Thanks for watching.